Hello, my name is Yvonne Abro and I'm doing a series on the Old English runes and the Northumbrian runes. The next one in the series is Eoch, which means you, as in yew tree. Um, I like this one because my name means yew tree. Um, the name Yvonne means yew tree. So uh, the yew tree is an interesting symbol in um, Norse and Anglo-Saxon mythology because whilst it represents death, because yew trees are often planted um, near graveyards, so first they were planted on burial mounds and other burying grounds, and then they were planted near churchyards as well. Um, and because they're very long lived, you can still find lots of yew trees um, guarding churchyards. Um, so, there, because of their being planted near graves, they represent death, but because they're so long lived, they also represent um, resurrection and rebirth. So, the this rune has a dual nature and it also represents longevity because the tree is long lived. So, if you look at the rune, you can see that, like its predecessors in this eight it has rotational symmetry um, and it's also been speculated that, that it's some kind of fish hook because uh, I think um, people did make fish hooks out of yew trees um, so it's a very rich in a tree that's very rich in symbolism and the Anglo-Saxons also used when they wrote out a charter with um, the directions of like, okay, this is how you delineate this person's land. They often used yew trees as boundary markers along with oak trees. So that shows you how important yew trees were um, because obviously they want to use something that's going to be a long-term fixture in the landscape. And they know that, that a yew tree is going to be there for a long time. And um, the other thing that's important about yew trees is that some people say that Yggdrasil, the Norse world tree, uh, was a yew tree. Um, it's mostly regarded as an ash tree, but it could also be a yew tree. Um, so that's interesting. So lots of symbolism for this one. And if you encounter this rune in a reading, it can mean death and rebirth um a bit like the death card in the tarot i suppose um it can so it doesn't have to mean a literal death it can be a symbolic death and the other thing i wanted to bring up was that yew trees are associated with a region in norse mythology called udalia the valley of the yew trees and that is associated with ulla who is the god of winter. So there's another angle to the whole thing. Um, so and there's a lot of wintry symbolism in the this eight of runes. Um, and of course, because it's an evergreen tree, that's another reason why it would be associated with the winter, because it would be one of the few trees that would have um, leaves or needles on it in winter. So I think that about wraps it up for you and um, thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.